Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee International. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over there is my more energetic version of me, John Lewandowski. Hey. I'm just kidding. He's not normally not more energetic than me, but today he is. <laughs> um, Today we have a double with in the system on tap. Um, we're going to try and get as much of it in, in as possible. There was a lot that happened in this Atlanta game. There was a lot that happened in the Milwaukee game. Between the two games, I... Sixteen goals between the two games. So, um, and we have it in the system, which I have an entire clipboard to read. <laughs> so, I will turn it over to John. All right. So, today the Atlanta Gladiators took on the Jacksonville Icemen. Shots on goal in the first period. Jacksonville outshot Atlanta 15-1. to in the second period, Jacksonville outshot Atlanta 12 to 4. In the third period, Jacksonville outshot Atlanta 13 to 4. In total, Jacksonville outshoots Atlanta 40 to 9. Now, on the power play, Atlanta goes 0 for 1 with 68 minutes, 14 infractions, while Jacksonville goes 3 for 7 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions. All righty. Um, just to give you kind of like a, a hint of that, uh, let's see. In the first period alone, they had one, two, two, three, three in the... Three in the first... Uh, they had a double minor in the second. They had a uh, misconduct for uh, inciting um, in the second. They had a game misconduct of abuse of the official. Um, well, then again, at the uh, 10 minute mark or uh, at the 17 mark, another game misconduct abuse of an official. Um, holding, roughing. Uh, roughing, yeah, it, it was bad. There's uh, just yikes. All righty, scoring for in the first at the 139 mark was Damian Giroux with an assist from Craig Martin and Brendan Harris. That goal was at even strength, so, and then at the 428 mark. Christopher Brown scored with an assist from Riley Fiddler Schultz and Brandon Harris. That was on the power play. Um, then at the um, 845 mark, Logan Cockrell scores with an assist from Garrett Van Weil and Jacob Panetta. Then scoring in the second was Derek Lodemeyer with an assist from Logan Cockrell and Ivan Chukarov. All right. In the third period, uh, scoring at the 155 mark for Jacksonville was Garrett Van Wy, assisted by Christopher Brown and Connor Russell. Uh, then at the 310 mark, Atlanta scores with a goal from Robert Kalisti, assisted by Nolan Burke and Jay Powell. And at the 432 mark, Atlanta scores again with a goal from Jay Powell, assisted by Brendan Hoffman and Zach Yoder. Then at the 1117 mark, Jacksonville scores with a goal from Brendan Harris, assisted by Christopher Brown and Riley Fiddler Schultz. Then at the 1924 mark, Jacksonville gets on the board again with a goal from Luke Brown, assisted by Derek Lodermeyer and Jerry D'Amigo. Um. And uh, I apologize, uh, John. Um, I, if I remember correctly, when we used to cover Atlanta, wasn't it Domingo? 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 What? I don't remember. Anyway, um, uh, Lodermeyer's goal in the second was a shorthanded goal. 
Harris's goal in the third um, at the 11-17 mark was a power play goal. And Lope, uh, and Brown's goal to Brendan Harris and Luke Brown both scored on the power play. Um, that goal at the 19-24 mark, it wasn't needed. They chose to run it up. Uh, the three stars, as they should all go to Jacksonville. Uh, then while Brown and Harris, as they all are deserving, uh, Mercado was in debt for the Iceman um, in Jacksonville. He stopped seven of nine with two goals against. That is actually a horrible save percentage. Um, Brad Barone stopped 12 of 15 with 20 minutes of work, giving up three. And Jalen Boyko stopped 21 of 25, giving up four. And that will do it for that game. Huh. Next on tap is the Admirals versus the Manitoba Moose. And the Admirals tame the Savage Beast. <laughs> All right, shots on goal in the first period. Manitoba outshoots Milwaukee 12 to 7. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Manitoba 12 to 11. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Manitoba 9 to 5. And in total, both teams have 28 shots. On the power play, Manitoba went 0 for 3 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 0 for 3 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions. Scoring in the first period was nothing. Scoring in the second period at the 837 mark for Manitoba was Nicholas Jones scoring his fourth of the year on the shorthand unassisted. Then at the 901 mark for Manitoba, Christian Reichel scores his eighth of the season shorthanded with an assist from Jeffrey Vale. Then at the 1044 mark uh, for the Admiral, Spencer Stasny scores his fifth of the year, assisted by Mark Jankowski, his 30th, and Reed Schaefer, his eighth. Then at the 14.07 mark, the Admirals score with a goal by Jake Livingstone, his second of the year, assisted by Jasper Weatherby, his ninth, and Cal O'Reilly, his 14th. Then scoring at the 16.11 mark was Mark Delgaizo, his seventh, with an assist from Igor Afanasiev, his 19th, and Mark Jankowski is 31st. Um, Jankowski, uh, Statsny, Parson, and I, I'd almost have to say Foodie all almost deserve a call up. Like, they've been playing phenomenal. Yeah, they really have. Uh, then scoring in the third was Kevin Wall with his third. I feel like I haven't said that name a whole lot this year. Right. With an assist from Fedor Svechkov, his 17th, and Ty Falaber, his 6th. Now, with that being said, I'm also going to say that this was the best game I saw from Wall and Falaber all season. They were very active today. They were all over the place. Um, and then at the 758 mark, Yuso Parson and slaps one past, unassisted, shorthanded. And the Admirals win their 12th in a row, extending their season, the league season long winning streak to 12. Oh. All righty. Um, in that for Manitoba was, hey there, Delia. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey there, mm -hmm. no, I'm just kidding. It was Colin Delia. Hey. Uh, he stopped uh, 23 of 28. In net for the Admirals was Yaroslav Askarov, who played very well minus the Odd man rushes on the shorthand that the our, our team gave up. We gave those goals to them. Yarrow didn't stand a chance on either one of those. So I'm not going to blame him. Shorthanded goals, that's a team problem. 
But we got one back, so we'll we'll be all right. So, uh, head coaches for the Admirals are Kyle Taylor, Scott Ford, and Greg Lalo. Head coach for Manitoba is it's the return of the back. It's Mark Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> return of the Mac. <laughs> Uh, with assistant coach, former uh, Manitoba, longtime Manitoba Moose, uh, Nolan Bumgarner, assistant coach, Eric Dubois, and former Admirals and Moose goaltender, Drew McIntyre. I actually saw Drew. Nice guy. Still, he even remembered me. Attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 6,144. I think it was a little more than that, but... Mm -hmm. New referees were Sean Davis and Cody Beach. Linesmen were Jonathan Sedlak and TJ Lyle. With that, the Admirals move are in third place in the league divisionally. They're still in first with a 14 point advantage. And only one team has one game in hand, and that's the Wolves, who have moved themselves from the basement. To fourth place. Going seven and three of their last ten. All righty. On to in the system. This is where we talk about the guys who are in the system, but they're not here yet. They're not in Atlanta. They're not in Milwaukee. They're not in Nashville. So these are the guys who are juniors in college. Starting it off with leading in points is Graham Sward with uh with he's a defenseman with the Wichetney Wild with the WHL. He's played 45 games, has 11 goals, 46 assists for 57 points. He is averaging 1.27 points per game with a plus 44. Austin Brose. Uh, plays for the Everett Silver Chips of the WHL. He is a center slash right winger. He has played 44 games, 26 goals, 22 assists, 48 points, 1.09 points per game, and a plus 16. <coughs> Hannah Molendijk for the Saskatoon Blades of the WHL. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. Uh, he has 32 games played, 6 goals, 34 assists, 40 points for a 1.25 points per game, and a plus 31. Joey Willis of the uh, Ontario Hockey League of the Saginaw Spirit. He has 46 games played, 10 goals, 28 assists, 38 points, 0 0.83 points per game, and a plus 19. Aiden Fink of Penn State. Congratulations, by the way, on being nominated for the Hobie Baker Award. That is a very illustrious award in college hockey. Uh, he has 26 games played, 15 goals, 17 assists, 32 mm -hmm. points, and a plus three. Kalen Lind of the Red Deer Rebels, uh, he is a left winger. He plays in the WHL. Uh, he, <laughs> again, 29 games played, 9 goals, 22 assists for 31 points, 1.707 points per game. By the way, Aiden Fink has 1.23 points per game. His plus minus is zero. Alexander Campbell of Northeastern University and the NCAA, 23, 25 games, 27 points. 1.8 points per game, uh, plus nine. He has 14 goals and 13 assists. Then at also at Northeastern is Gunnar Wolf Fontaine. He has 25 games played, five goals, six assists, 21 points, plus four. Simeon Chishikov of the Overguard Mints in the KHL. He has 50 games played, four goals, 17 assists, 21 points, and a plus 13. Felix Nielsen, uh, he's playing in Rongo BK. He has for the uh, Swedish Hockey League. Uh, he has 33 games played, one goal, two assists, three points, with a minus five. He's also played in Rogel BK's J20, which is under 20. Um, he has 15 games played, five goals, 12 assists, 17 points, and a plus 19. Um, Adam Ingram of St. Cloud State University, 24 games played, seven goals, 12 assists, 19 points, six plus six. Ryan Ufko. Defenseman, UMass, NCAA, 23 games played, 
Six goals, 13 assists, 19 points, plus three. Sutter Mazzuti. He plays for RPI, which is a, a Redisler uh, Polytechnic Institute. He has uh, six goals, 13 assists for 19 points and a minus 10, but that school is probably about one of the worst D1 colleges you could ever go to. As far as playing hockey. But at the same time, educationally, it's probably one of the best schools you can go to. Uh, Matthew Wood for the University of Connecticut, the Preds first round pick this last season. He's a left wing center. He's got 25 games played, eight goals, eight assists, 16 points, and a minus one. Uh, Simon Naka Hockey Club Davos of the National Hockey League. That's in Switzerland. Uh, 32 games played, five goals, seven assists, 12 points, plus six. Luke Reed, University of New Hampshire, NCAA. Um, he has 23 games played, one goal, 11 assists, 12 mm -hmm. points, and a plus six. Um, Dylan McKinnon for the Halifax Mooseheads of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. 48 games played, one goal, two, 11 assists for 12 points and a plus two. Um, uh, Jesse Keeskinen, he has uh, totals of 38 games played, six goals, four assists, 10 points and a minus one uh, with the Pelicans of uh, Liga. Uh, ben Stride to the University of North Dakota, formerly the Fighting Sioux of the NCAA. He has 25 games played, five goals, four assists, nine points, plus six. No, okay, nope, not this year. Huh. Cole O'Hara for UMass in the NCAA is three goals, six assists, nine points, and a plus two in 23 games. Uh, Chase McLean at Penn State. Uh, 17 games played, three goals, three assists, six points, minus 11. Isaac Walder, University of Vermont, 13 games played, three goals, two assists, five points, plus six. Vasilev Yermiko of Metal Erg, Metagorsk of the KHL, 24 games played, two goals, three assists, five points, plus eight. Casper Kulanumi for Tapera, 27 games played, two assists, minus one. He's also played five games in Tappers U20. He has three assists, and he's a plus three. Anton Olison, he played for Scholastia. He had uh, one assist, minus four. He then jumped to Yoker in the Liga. He has seven games played there. Two goals, one assist, three points, plus one. Goaltending, he's a hater for the University of Connecticut. 17 games played, 2.79 goals against average, with a point nine zero eight same percentage. Konstantin Volkov of Dynamo Moscow of the KHL, 10 games played, 3.60 goals against average with a .889 save percentage. So 88.9 on the save. That's not really that good. Yuha Gakkola of Kalpa, drafted last year by the Nashville Predators. He plays in Liga, 28 games played, 2.59 goals against average with an 87.9 save percentage. If you want to know who the top two are, look no further than Milwaukee. All righty. I would like to thank you all, and hopefully you could understand everything I said. Felt like I was rapping like Eminem, reading those off, trying to get it out, done in time. So, <laughs> um, also, thank you to the Admirals and Brewers for this nice shirt. John will be getting his whenever I get over by him. <laughs> Or vice versa. <laughs> we'll right. see each other soon. <laughs> it's just another week. Um, but we thank you. And please enjoy your week of our silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you all for watching. And uh, this has been From Milwaukee to Nashville. Brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Don't forget, they're Milwaukee's number one stop shop for hockey. You can get everything. And, hey, if it's an open skate day at Wilson Park, you can even test it out, maybe. So, check out Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585.
or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville, signing off for our All-Star break. Please be safe, enjoy your week, and go Atlanta, do your best.